Right, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Yes, uh, it's Tony K. Silver. The K is there for a very good reason. There are other Tony Silvers in the world, but there's only one Tony K. So if someone looks me up, they were going to find me. This morning, in half an hour, I'm not going to teach you everything you need to know about LinkedIn. It's impossible. Uh, what I hope to do is to give you some information uh, that will help you use uh, and make some leads, growth, revenue, all the things that you're probably not doing at the moment on LinkedIn. I know I saw you, a few of you playing with the app earlier. Um, see, I'm not sure how many of you use the app, but there's some very useful parts on the app. So if everyone wants to get their phones out. I don't know, obviously not every of you is going to have the app, but this is, you'll find out why you need it now. So if, once you're on there, if you go to your home page, which will end up looking like that, Along the bottom you'll see a series of icons. Second one in says my network. If you push that, you'll see that we have a little blue disc come up in the bottom right hand corner. If you push that, there's a sub menu appear. The first one is the famous find nearby, which only works when we push the button. As soon as you move to the next page, it disappears. So if you push that, it will start to populate all the people in the room. That, so there you go. So if there's people in the room you haven't met, you can now go and look at their profile, connect, follow. <coughs> okay, so yeah, there's been loads and loads and loads of people there. So that's one use. So I'll give you a minute or so to, if you want to push a few buttons and connect to a few people, see how it works. Right, the next thing is if you go back to that blue button in the bottom corner and push it, you'll see the one above find nearby it says scan QR code. So for those of you that have uh, forgotten your business cards, uh, or don't carry business cards, here you have a scanner and a code. Two tabs at the top, one is your code, the other is a scanner. So you can literally scan someone's code, it will take you straight through to their profile, it does not connect you, okay? You have to do that manually, but at least you're not finding the right person straight away. You know, if you're talking to someone called Bob Jones, it's kind of, there's quite a few of them on there. It's best to go straight to theirs. There's two other things on the messaging side. Now, let's pick on ah, someone I know in the room. So when you normally go into messaging, uh, you put the person's name in there, and uh, hopefully there's enough signal in here for this, yeah. So, Phil Strachan, young man at the back. Okay, normally I would just start typing in text in there to Phil, but actually on the far right hand side there's a little microphone. If you hold that microphone down, hi Phil, just testing out the voice uh, message to show the people in the room. As soon as I let go, it stops it. I get a copy of that audio file. Phil should get a copy of that audio file as well. Go to the other end, there's actually a plus button, and you'll see in here, there's the ability to video. So I can now send him a video message. Again, push the button. Hi Phil, again, we're just testing out the video link. I'll speak to you later. As soon as I push the key, again, I get a copy of the video link. Phil gets a copy of it. It's just a good way of talking to people. I personally don't always understand what people mean by messages. Some of the messages they send me, certainly put exclamation marks in there. I don't quite know what they mean by it. So that's just a good way of communicating with people. Sorry, I was fiddling with my settings. Can you just say where you're going, where, where, where the voice bit is, where, where you're on? Where you go into your messaging. <coughs> okay, so if you were to message somebody, yes. there's a box. One end, the, there's the camera, uh, the uh, microphone. Oh, I see, just standard. It's and then, LinkedIn. it's within LinkedIn, no? Messaging. So you go into the message. If you were to message somebody, you have the microphone on the right hand side, on the left hand side you have a plus button, push the plus button and video is one of the options. It's 60 seconds maximum, but it's, it's a good way of getting messages across to people. 
Okay, quick brief history. 2003, four Americans in the HR space set up uh, LinkedIn. Came across the year later into the UK. They set up an office here in 2008. The more interesting ones, um, around about 2011, 2012, the larger companies started to realise it wasn't just for the HR industry and the fact it could be used for many different things, marketing, selling, other business orientated things. So they started using it. Like everything else, it filters down and eventually we all got to know about all the other strengths of it. Another milestone was 2016 uh, when that little American company called Microsoft purchased it for 26.2 billion pounds. Good thing, bad thing, debatable. I, say, I personally say it was a bad thing. Many uh, of you that have been on it for a long time will remember groups and how powerful they were and there's a few other things on there. Uh, Chris should be nodding at this stage, Mr. Bandock. Um, yeah, they kind of disappeared down to the bottom of the profile. Uh, they stopped pulling through the feed and everything, so it got really, really, really useless. Um, the big thing for me, and I would love to say I set up my company in 2018 because of this, but around about sort of 2018 Easter time, it got pulled away from general social media. A lot of the social media agencies could no longer deal with it. Um, it became a proper bona fide personal business tool. That's when it got real. That's when people needed to start to be on it. And the trouble with LinkedIn is they're not a massive great promotion. You'll hear them on the radio, you'll hear them on TV about the, uh, the job side of it, but the actual the business side, which is far larger, they don't make as much money, you don't hear as much. So current stats, 675 million user accounts across the world. So that's quite a large number. They claim to be in 200 countries. Problem with that being, anybody? There Correct, there aren't 200 countries in the world. So yeah, their marketing department needs to sort of check before they put stuff out there. I put 190 just to be safe. UK, 28 million, I rounded up, it's just under 28 million user accounts in the UK. And when you consider that the population of the UK is 66 point something, and the working population is just over 30, most people in business have a presence on LinkedIn. So if you're not on it and not using it, you are missing out massively. The last little stat down the bottom, which I, uh, I like, is that they did a um, survey, it's probably about 18 months old now, and they went around all the major cities in the world and see what the average number of connections per person was and London come out top. So the Americans might have invented it, but we use it better. Right, top tips. This is where if you've got pads and pens, take some notes. The biggest thing for me was when people actually find you or you swap cards here today and they've gone back to the office or you've gone on your phone and you've looked at the four key areas that people see whether they're on a phone, whether they're on a tablet or desktop, it doesn't matter, these four areas are all there. At the top, there's a big banner goes across the top. We're very visual people, we take visual information in first and I would love to know a number of people in this room we have got the standard LinkedIn banner because uh, you need to change it by the time you close a play today because it's doing you no favours whatsoever. What it needs to do is tell people things. Secondly, the headshot. Photographer in the room? Okay, there's always one. Claire. Exactly. Come on, Claire, speak up. It's massively important, isn't it, Claire? Yes. We work together, Claire and I, because we understand that that's a massive part of LinkedIn. That photograph actually gives you an advantage. Then you've got the headline. Now the headline is probably now the top tip I would give anyone is you need to make that headline underneath your name let people know what you do, what you can offer. Because whenever you see uh, that come up on LinkedIn your picture comes up and that headline always follows it. So even before they reach your profile they will see that particular writing. And then we've got the about section. Um, people still see it. So it's still in the domain of the person that's viewing. It's all about them. So anyone who's got I, we or me on there, tut, tut, tut. Let's have some news in there. So yes, the banner. It needs to tell your story. Okay? People will need to look at it and understand what it is you can do for them. 
Now the worrying thing about it, and I know this figure is probably wrong, is you have less than seven seconds for people to engage with you. It's probably down near a five now, but I don't want to scare people. So it's very important. Now in this particular case, this gentleman is very lucky, he's a speaker, so a picture of him standing on stage speaking kind of tells you straight away what he does. <coughs> he's lucky. Most people I work with, that alone will not tell the people. And the longer they try and work out what you do, well, that seven seconds is disappearing fast. They won't bother, they will just move on. So what I would always suggest is that a picture plus some words, there's plenty of marketing people in this room that can help you on the, uh, create a banner. But yes, so this is a good one. He's very lucky, the fact that he's a speaker, and you know straight away. This one, unfortunately, um, yeah, they haven't done anything. This is the standard LinkedIn banner, so if you recognise it on your own profile, put your hands up. No, no, I wouldn't be that cruel. Uh, <laughs> get rid of it, you know. Um, if you haven't got a marketing personal, there's a little product called Canva, C-A-N-V-A, free download software. There's a LinkedIn banner template in there. You can use that to create it, okay? But yes, this doesn't tell me anything and immediately I'm on the back foot. I don't quite know what this guy does. Professional headshots, as Claire will tell you, are vitally important. Mainly because they get 14 times more engagement. Okay, so a proper headshot, you're 14 times more likely to engage people than having that one with your Ferrari at your side, sitting on your horse, on the beach, or whatever it is. They don't work, okay? What you need is, it's kind of boring, but it needs to be current, so...